the overuse of antibiotics is a big problem. Um, uh, the more we use antibiotics population-wise, uh, bacteria start to become resistant to those antibiotics. So it's not the question of whether or not antibiotics are a good thing, it's is the right amount of antibiotics are a good thing, and we're trying to find out what that right amount is. I'm Christopher Guidry, I'm a surgical resident here at the University of Virginia. The STOP IT trial is really important. It's the first study of its kind that really shows that we can decrease the amount of antibiotics that we need to give for an intra-abdominal infection safely. And that's important because that means we can limit the amount of antibiotics we have to give. Intra-abdominal infections often occur because uh, some of the patient's GI flora end up in a place where they're not really supposed to be, uh, somewhere else in the abdominal cavity. And in that location, they cause an infection, which then we have to deal with with antibiotics or surgery. So the STOP IT trial was a real group effort uh, across 23 different centers throughout the United States and Canada. Patients were randomized to either a more traditional length of treatment, which was up to about 10 days, uh, versus a four-day length of treatment after they had achieved source control, so after they'd been to the operating room. And what we found were that, was that there was no difference in, uh, between those patients and the control group versus the experimental group. I think the paper really also highlights how important operative intervention is controlling uh, an intra-abdominal infection when it's indicated. Uh, so one of, the, one of the key things you can take away from the paper is just how important source control really is and that antibiotics can be thought of really as an adjunct to getting source control and not the primary uh, treatment of the infection. For me it's really great to be involved in a project where the clinical impact is immediate and where you see changes in clinical practice right after publication.